I've noticed that a lot of people are receiving the Tallahassee Real Estate blog via email feed and because of that they haven't actually visited the blog site in quite some while. All of the content's been delivered right to their email inbox and while this is a great way to receive the blog uh, I recommend you come and visit the site from time to time because we have a lot of resources there as well. This is what the actual blog looks like when you go to blog.manasa.com and the first thing you see is the new content on the left and then you have the sidebar on the right. The sidebar on the right is where a lot of these resources reside. Uh, one thing I recommend is you subscribe to our newsletter. It takes about 15 seconds. You just put in your name and your email address and then you hit submit. After you hit the submit button it'll take you to a thank you for subscribing page. Now this is very, and you can see an email showed up that's going to be very important here in a second. This uh, thank you for subscribing page says, hey check your email. Why? Because here at the Tallahassee Real Estate blog we are completely against spam so we don't want to be sending out this newsletter to people that don't want to receive it and we don't want people to be able to come to our site and subscribe other people to the newsletter so you actually have to confirm that you are the one that wants to receive the email so I put in my email address and I hit subscribe and what this tells me is hey look for an email look for a link in the email click on that link in the email and once you've done that you'll be active to receive the newsletter and that's all it takes now if you open up your email program for me, mine was right here, right in my uh, email box, and all I have to do is click that. For some of you, though, it's going to actually go into your junk email folder because it's not going to recognize the address coming in. So either way, find that email, move it to your inbox, and then click on this link. When you click on the link, you should get uh, a, a sent to this page, which is a uh, confirmation that you've been done and some of the old e uh, newsletters are there and then you'll receive a confirmation email saying hey you're subscribed and that's all it takes I cannot emphasize enough how important it is to uh, look for that confirmation email and to get the newsletter because the newsletter comes out about every three weeks and it has uh, analysis of the Tallahassee market in much greater detail than we provide uh, in the middle of the blog as you scroll down the blog sidebar, the next section is uh, follow Tallahassee Real Estate. These are different ways of receiving uh, our, our content. Uh, if you click on the uh, subscribe on feed burner button like this, it takes you here. You put in your email address, a confirmation code. Again, just like the newsletter, it sends you an email that you need to confirm with. And once you do that, you'll be receiving our blog feed via your email. The benefit, of course, on this is that every time we put in new content on the blog, you'll receive it via your email the next morning, and you either read it or delete it, but it keeps you up to date with what's going on in the Tallahassee real estate market. Also in the follow field is follow me on Twitter. If you use Twitter, just click on that. It'll take you to the Twitter feed uh, called Housing Reporter, and here's how you subscribe if you use an RSS reader any one of these three or all three of these things is a great way of receiving updates on the Tallahassee real estate market. The next section down is for first time home buyers. I've got some information sheets that you can actually download and one of the things you'll notice with all of our download reports if you hover over it it'll tell you how many times other people have downloaded them. Uh, I'm not so sure what the value of this is other than it tells you some of the more popular downloads. Um, but we've had several hundred people download our first-time home buyer information. Uh, there's a great resource book on how to get money for first-time home buyers. You can get uh, by clicking that link. Uh, and then all of our newsletters are kept here. Here is the most recent newsletter. It's already been read 367 times. Then the one prior to that, prior to that, etc. I think uh, this newsletter has been read the most at uh, just under 800 times. We have a special report section, much like the newsletters, except uh, the special reports. Anytime uh, we, we come up with some key information that we think is timeless, we put it in here. 
Uh, we did a piece just uh, last week on 10 critical home selling steps uh, for homeowners. It's already been downloaded 34 times, uh, but you look at uh, this one's one of our more popular stories, how to avoid the biggest mistake in real estate, been over 300 times. All of these are basically one page PDF files, maybe two page PDF files uh, that cover a very specific topic and uh, these have been very popular with our readers. We just implemented this about uh, two months ago. Um, another beneficial piece of our sidebar is our neighborhood section. Anytime we write an article on a neighborhood in Tallahassee, we tag it and then you can come down here and click on a link and it'll show you all the different uh, stories we've done on that neighborhood. So for example, if we choose Southwood, we click on Southwood, and these are all the different articles that were written on Southwood. And you can go back and click. This one's done in August, this one's July, this one's May, etc. So it's a great way for you to uh, look at uh, a specific neighborhood in great detail. Uh, this is kind of a neat section that we've added. And what this is, is this is the live traffic on our site. So right now we can see that someone from Davenport, Iowa is on, Riverside, California, Lafayette, Louisiana, Dayton, Ohio, Bonifé, Florida, which is actually Tallahassee. Uh, for some reason this site uh, sees our, our uh, access as Bonifé. Another Tallahassee, Georgia, Vegas, Arizona. So you can see we get a lot of traffic from outside of the Tallahassee market. Uh, if you want, you can go to these options. You can actually watch a map and see it displayed of all over the world where people were coming from. Um, another great download sort resource we've just added this week is our monthly market reports. So if you like to see inventory in terms of months of supply, this will be the most recent one. And then uh, over time, we'll have a nice little back history that you can go back and see how things have changed. I uh, got a little survey site here. This is actually not something I'm doing, but there's a PhD student at FSU that is trying to measure the uh, feedback from real estate home buyers and real estate home sellers. So even if you did something recently but not with us, go take this survey. Your name will be entered into a chance to win $100, but it's to help a, a PhD student at Florida State. Here's our archive section, so you can go back in time and look for any specific blog we wrote about. Uh, anytime we have something that's uh, very focused on real estate in Tallahassee, we tag it that way and you'll see the most five recent articles down here. And that's pretty much a summary of the sidebar. When you go to the main section of the blog, you'll see our main articles. And I believe four articles are demonstrated on the left and then you have a little feeder line on six prior to that. So you can see the 10 most recent blog articles written over here. And then if you want to see prior to that, you just hit previous entries. And again, there's 10 more. And if you're looking, this is a fast way to go back and look at uh, historic blogs that we wrote. So in a nutshell, that's what we have to offer now on the Tallahassee Real Estate blog. I really would love to see uh, you come and check us out from time to time because there's a lot more to offer than just the daily blog and if you're receiving it by email you might be missing out. As uh, new ideas hit us we do update our sidebar so you might want to take a peek at that from time to time.